The Face Blend is a set of surfacing options that provide a powerful way to round adjacent faces creating a seamless blend. This feature allows more control over the resulting face than a fillet feature, giving more use cases. The Face Blend applies to both connected and disconnected faces, differing from the fillet, which only applies to connected faces. Face Blends also do not need to merge with the reference geometry and can instead produce an independent surface. To use the Face Blend, select it from the Part Studio toolbar. Select the faces to blend for side 1 and side 2. More than one face can be selected on either side. Use the reverse direction icon to flip which side of the face should be part of the blend. By default, propagation is enabled and set to tangent. For propagation that requires selections outside of tangency, expand the type to set the propagation to either tangent, adjacent, or custom. Tangent includes faces positioned tangentially to the selected faces. Adjacent includes faces neighboring the selected faces. Custom includes faces within a maximum angle value defined by the user. Clear the propagation checkmark to disable it. This gives you full control over what additional faces are included in the blend. Next, define the cross section. Two cross section options are in the drop down list rolling ball and swept profile. Rolling Ball is the default option which creates a smooth curved blend between the two faces. Swept Profile sweeps the profile so the blend cross section is perpendicular to a spine defined by the user. Define the spine with a sketch or part edge. Once the cross section type has been selected, the available definition settings are the same. Set the measurement to either radius or width. Radius uses a radial measurement for the blend, while the width specifies the distance between two ends of the blend, otherwise known as a constant width. Enable asymmetric to enter a second measurement value. This creates an uneven blend with differing values on either side. Use the switch side button to reverse the ends of the asymmetric blend. Set the cross section control to one of the following options, circular, conic, curvature, or chamfer. Circular creates a rounded slope. Conic creates a conical blend guided by the radius or width measurement. Curvature creates a blend that matches the curvature of the surrounding faces where it connects. Chamfer creates a linear beveled slope. Constraints and limits provide additional options to further define the resulting blend. Set the trim type by expanding the drop down list. Walls creates the blend from the edge walls. Short creates the shortest possible blend between the walls. Long creates the longest possible blend. No trim allows the blend to go beyond the selected sides. Finally, enable detach to create a new surface with this face blend instead of adjoining to the existing selected surfaces. Evaluate the face blend by showing ISO curves. Show ISO curves overlays a mesh on the surface to help you visualize the quality of the underlying surface. Adjust the number of ISO curves with the count value. This video discusses how to use the face blend feature and demos some various use cases.